Yeah, guys, in the summer, a new law went into effect that pushed the state to develop a coordinated mutual aid system that would help local agencies when things got out of control. Well, this hadn't been fully implemented at the time of the Marshall Fire, and now the State Fire Commission is taking what started over the summer one step further while well, the state's top fire leader evaluates how the state's dispatching response went. If I was going to rate it on a 1 to 10, I think I'd probably give it about a 6 or a 7. And, and I say that because I know there's room for improvement. This is how the state rallied mutual aid support during the Marshall Fire, pretty much via email, bringing in approximately 57 additional fire apparatus to help. The problem solvers made a public records request to show you this process. But it still has kind of some clunkiness to it, right? Where I think if we have the ability to build a state coordination center around fire-based resources, that, that it will become a smoother process. Top fire official Mike Morgan says the state's current coordination system is a work in progress. Five years ago, we wouldn't have been able to muster up, you know, 57 additional pieces of fire apparatus. We just didn't have the capability. Now, the State Fire Commission wants to beef up the state's responsibilities even more. They voted this month to create a 24 7 state fire coordination center that could help mobilize resources year round, and that would include access to aviation tools. I don't know that, that a state coordination center solves that chaos right up front. I think what it can do is it can provide some depth um, to maybe uh, lessen the workload a little bit. We've gotten all this technology, but we haven't used it better. Last week, we also heard concerns about communication problems in which crews couldn't connect during the Marshall Fire. Somebody has got to pick this up and lead. Morgan acknowledges radios haven't been a priority problem to solve for many years, but it's one that's weighing heavily on the crews who helped fight the Marshall Fire flames. It's so hard to get it right, and, and I think, you know, if we can find some solutions, um, you know, I think, I think the time is now. Now. And this week, the state launched its facilitated learning analysis. It's an interagency review that could cost tens of thousands of dollars to look at what went well and what could have been better. The state also called the Federal Fire Administrator and several other national agencies to help look at what happened here so we can avoid it in the future. I'm Lori Jangliha, Fox 31.